Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today we are going to learn about Laravel Factory. In this video, we will cover the basics of Laravel Factory including how to create and use factories to generate fake data. We will also explore more advanced topics like customizing factory data, defining relationship between data and seeding your database with the generated data. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how Laravel Factory works and how to use it to generate this data for your application. So get ready to dive into the world of Laravel Factory and start building better application with ease. Okay, so first of all, let's start by creating a new factory. To create a new factory in terminal, we have to write php artisan make factory and give it a name. The first name should be exactly as your model name. For example, if I come to my app uh, models i want to create for my subjects uh, model so i will type exactly subjects like this uh, subjects then after the name you have to write factory and hit enter so our factory is ready now we have to go to database uh, factories and our factory now in here uh, in the definition method you have to write your column inside return you have to write your column name so in here i will go to my database for example subjects if i select name select the column name here and like this then i will type this faker and after faker i will type name so sorry like this now when uh, this is finished we have to register our factory to register this i have uh, i will go to cedar and inside cedar database cedar inside here i will type my model name not the factory name but the model name this one the model name so subjects then co uh, colon colon factory then how many times i want to uh, create a record for example i will want to create 100 records after that create now if i uh, run in the terminal php artisan dbc hit enter now let's see our database as you guys can see it has added 100 records to my database so this is the way that we create a cedar first we will make a uh, factory then uh, we add our column name after that we register it in the database cedar then after at the end we will run php artisan db seed so now let's create another factory for our teachers model uh, let's see the column so our fact teachers table have name email phone and date of birth now let's create a factory for this for that i will type php artisan make factory and my teacher model name which is teachers factory hit enter so uh, our uh, factory is being created now i will copy the column names from here from the migration so it would be much easier to type so name email now inside the definition method inside return i will paste all the three four columns in here and arrow key this faker For the name, I will type name and for email because email should be unique for each teacher. So I will type unique save email and for phone, I will type uh, faker phone number and for date of birth, I will type date. So now let's save everything. Let's register this to our uh, database seeder 
in here I will type my model name which is teachers factory create 100 records create and now let's run this by p typing php artisan db colon c it enter it's done now let's go and see our teachers table so as you guys can see it has created 100 records with name email phone and date of birth Now let's create uh, another factory for our classes table. As you guys can see, our classes table have a teacher's ID. It is uh, has a relationship with teacher's name and the description. So let's see how we can create a uh, factory that uh, has a relationship. So for that, I will type PHP artisan make factory and my classes um, model which is uh, this same here classes factory enter it's ready let's copy the column names now inside the classes factory I, inside definition I will paste my columns So, first of all, for uh, name, this time I will type uh, this faker word to generate word for the name, and for description, I will type this faker sentence. Now, uh, for our for my teacher, I want to store the teacher's ID in here. So what will I do is create a new variable in the top. With the name of teachers is equal to teacher. And in here I will say plug ID to array. Like this teachers plug id so we can get the id of teachers and store it in the teacher id so in here i will type this faker and random element and my teacher variable which is this dollar sign teacher now and uh, see that i have to register this so i i will type classes factory create 100 record and create now let's run our seeder so it's done now let's go and inside the database refresh our table as you guys can see in teachers table it uh, added the teacher's ID and inside name some wo random word and also the description. So to create a relationship uh, seeder, you have to first fetch all the records and randomly add inside the teacher uh, ID. So this is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video and if you like it, please don't forget to press the like and subscribe button and if you have any questions write it down in the comments see you guys in the next video